What up, fam? It's Big On, West Coast in the house. You know what I'm saying? Today I want to talk about welfare recipients, man. You know, the women that be pimping the system way beyond past their control and time. The ones that don't want to get up off their ass and do shit with their motherfucking lives. Instead of wasting their lives away and then sitting up here having all these kids by these no good for nothing ass niggas. That ain't about shit. You feel me? Now, you get a woman on welfare, man. She had one kid. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Raise that kid a little bit and then get you, you know, some child care or something. And then, like, you know, go get up off your ass and get a job. Nah, not these trifling ass women in the ghetto. They don't do nothing like that. What they do is they meet another low class, low life, no good for nothing ass nigga. And then they go have another baby, and another baby, and another baby. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, the county, they only pay so much, you know, per child. You know what I'm saying? But the, but the benefits is the, the, the food stamps, man. You got females getting like twelve, thirteen hundred dollars $1,300 a month or more just in food stamps alone. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy in a motherfucker, though. You ever go to a motherfucking person on welfare house and see that all they motherfucking cabinets is full of food and full of refrigerators, full of food? Go to a motherfucking house that got a motherfucking nine to five and taking care of them same amount of motherfucking kids. I bet you you won't see as much food up in they shit. That's real shit. You know what I'm saying? Then, the cold part about it, though, man, these motherfucking females be so motherfucking greedy. They be down dumbing they kids, though. They'll do shit like, they'll put their kids on SSI and get paid off for that shit and be swearing up and down. They be teaching their kids to play dumb. Teach your kids to play dumb. You know what I'm saying? Why are you trying to down our race and be dumb? I had a motherfucking bitch say, oh yeah, I had my son just say, he on ADHD. It ain't nothing wrong with the little boy. The little boy is just as smart as hell. You know what I'm saying? Got all the good common sense in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you got to look at it like this, man. Why would these women want to work when you can get like $521 per child on welfare, almost $1,500 to two grand in food stamps, and then you getting seven, eight, nine hundred dollars $900 a month per child that you got on SSI? Who they winning? So you got a motherfucking female pulling in like at least $3,500, $4,500 a month. That's combined income and food stamps combined. So why would they want to get up off their ass and work? If the motherfucking government ain't sitting up here making these lazy ass hoes get off their motherfucking ass and go get a motherfucking real job. This is why our kids are so fucked up in the head. Because these women are lazy and they sit on their ass all motherfucking day, smoke weed, watch motherfucking Maury and all these other little bullshit ass, retarded ass motherfucking down to grade reality shows that degrade us to the motherfucking lowest extent. This is the type of shit that they do. You know what I'm saying? Not worrying about their kids. Not concerned about their kids' education. Not worried about if these kids is out here in these motherfucking streets doing stupid shit. Then these kids getting into gangs. Then they selling drugs. Then they out here robbing people. Then they out here killing people. Then before you know it, they either go to jail or before you know it, somebody killing their motherfucking ass. And then these mamas up here crying, oh, my baby, my baby, my baby. No, it's your motherfucking fault. For one, you had a baby by a no good for nothing ass nigga that's a deadbeat daddy with his punk motherfucking ass that should have been there and helped out the motherfucking kid and helped you with the kid and discipline him. But nah, you know what I'm saying? You knew he was a no good for nothing nigga, but you had a baby by that motherfucker anyway. So who the fuck you gonna blame? You know what I'm saying? You gonna blame that nigga? Yeah, he part of the problem, but you more part of the worst of the problem. You know what I'm saying? Because as long as you know that shit, you gonna get some income for that baby. No matter what. Oh, yeah, they're going to always feel sorry for the black mama, for the black poor mama, or the black poor Mexican mama, or the black poor white trash mama. 
Oh, yeah, they gonna feel sorry for them all the motherfucking day long. And then the cold part about it, though, you know who gonna end up getting fucked in the long run? These no good for nothing ass deadbeat motherfucking fathers. Yeah, nigga, you. The nigga that don't take care of his kid. The nigga that ain't never did nothing for his motherfucking kid a day in his motherfucking life. But he always want to show around when tax season come. And try to be nice and play nice. Nah, nigga. The motherfucking county gonna come after your ass. And not only that, nigga, you gonna owe thousands of dollars. Thousands. And that shit gonna cost you some big time motherfucking money, homie. You finna pay up. Big time, nigga. Either you gonna pay up or you gonna do some motherfucking jail time behind that shit. Yeah, they taking niggas to jail for that shit now. If you don't pay your motherfucking child support, nigga, they suspending your license, nigga. They taking niggas to jail for that shit. All because you decided not to pull your motherfucking dick out of a bitch that you knew you didn't want to be with. That you knew you wasn't in love with. But she had a nice fat ass, though. So you sure wanted to hit that shit and fuck the shit out that bitch. And that bitch leg locked your motherfucking ass and you nutted all up in that bitch. Now you gonna suffer, you dumb motherfucker. Wear a condom. Pull your dick out. One of the two. Shit, all my motherfucking kids, I love them all, nigga. I knew I wanted all mine. Every last one of them little fuckers. I love kids. I love my children. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad they here. And I take care of every last one of them. Even though I went through some scandal shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Me and my baby mama used to stay together and shit. We got married though. You know what I'm saying? So she was my wife at the time. But when we broke up and shit. Man, nigga went to court. Phew. All that time, nigga, I'm working, taking care of the house, paying the bills and all that shit, car notes and all that shit, man. The motherfucker sent me a letter in the mail talking about I owed them $37,000 because this motherfucking female was on the motherfucking county while we was living together. So then I remember when I went down, I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I pay all the bills. I do this and I do that. So they was like, nah, well, you know, if you... If you report her, we gonna get her for welfare Friday. She gonna do some jail time. Same for ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? But see, since my kids was little, man, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do my baby moms like that, man. So you know, I said, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I ate the, I ate the thirty-seven thousand. I paid that shit too. I paid it. You know what I'm saying? But I was like, God damn, as you know, it kind of made me leery to not, you know, trust. Trust females, man. It's where it's like, fuck, man. You want to have no kids by them, no females and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I had a, a motherfucking baby by my second baby mama, man. Everything was cool and shit, you know what I'm saying? To like, you know what I'm saying? I was fucking around and shit. I got caught up, you know what I'm saying? Cheating and shit. Fucking with other bitches and shit. But the motherfucking niggas that you call your friends and shit that was trying to fuck my baby mama... Was the motherfuckers I went and told on my motherfucking ass too. You know what I'm saying? Fucked up my relationship, but you know, it's all good. Shit happens. You know what I'm saying? But she ended up leaving this shit, breaking up with me, and leaving off with this other nigga. So the first thing she go do, got on the motherfucking county. But see, my daughter didn't want for shit, didn't need for shit. I took care of everything. You know what I'm saying? But it was a whole simple fact. She had a motherfucking baby by a nigga that's a good nigga. That takes care of his motherfucking kids. So what she do? She got on the motherfucking county. Who they come after for the child support shit? They came after me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they hit me up for like $400 a month and shit. But you know what I'm saying? Okay, fuck it. I did it. But I got joint custody and I still had to pay that shit. Why? Because they look at it as if she receiving money from the county, it's no income for you. You know what I'm saying? Your income and her income is don't match. So if I'm, if I'm, if I'm, at that time I was grossing like, I was grossing probably like three thousand, thirty five hundred a month, something like that. But she was getting like five hundred something a month. But since it came from the county, 
that money had counted as zero. And not only top of that, I had to provide medical insurance and all this other shit, blah, 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? But that's my child, though. So, you know what I'm saying? Wasn't no problem. Even though after that, I still had to buy her shit. Still had to buy her clothes, shoes, and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to argue with no motherfucker about no motherfucking money, man. That's what I'm not going to do. And I'm sure I ain't going to have no more motherfucking kids and shit. I'm done with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. If I'm if I'm gonna be with a woman with kids and shit and shit, we gonna raise them kids <laughs> together. <laughs> Cause uh, me personally, fuck that, I ain't having no more motherfucking kids. But that welfare shit, man, y'all motherfucking women need to get their shit together on that shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's it's killing our community, man. It's fucking dumbing our kids down, man. You know what I'm saying? Just for some motherfucking money so you can buy you some extra weed and take care of another no good from that ass nigga. You'll sit up there and rather tell your kids that they stupid. And they should play stupid just so you can get some motherfucking money. That don't make no sense. That don't make no sense at all, man. This is why the crime rate is so motherfucking high in these inner fucking cities. This is why all our babies is out here dying. Because parents want to pimp the system. And these niggas think they getting over on these females and laying up on these females because they get an income for their children. Yeah, you the parent and you're cooking and cleaning and all of that shit for your kids. But in reality, your kids is the motherfucking provider of the family. Real shit. Am I lying? Yeah, the kids are the providers of the family. And y'all mistreat y'all kids. Treat them like shit. Beat them. Talk bad about them. Don't fucking check their homework when they come home from school. Why? Because you either got a blood in your mouth or you got a bottle of Hennessy in your mouth. Or you in the room with the door closed with a dick in your mouth. One or the other. So with that said, man, I'm just sharing my little knowledge and wisdom. That's all. How I feel about certain things. Because, you know, I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm tired of seeing these little youngsters out here just dumb. Just dumb. Just stuck on stupid. Because their parents is sitting up here making these dumbass decisions. You know what I'm saying? There's no more foundation, man. There's no family foundation. There's no there's no family orientation no more, man. Where is that shit? That shit is gone. In a lot of families, man, that shit don't even exist no more, man. With the mother and the father in the household. You know what I'm saying? This is why. A lot of these women be saying shit like, oh, I don't need no motherfucking man. Fuck a nigga. I got my money. I'm a boss, bitch. <laughs> yeah, go figure. But what's going to happen if they take this shit away? What's going to happen when they take Section 8 away? What's going to happen when they cut your county down and they say, oh, okay, you're 100% able to work? Yeah, they try to put them on this little gang bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But shit, females ain't got so smart these days, man. They know how to get past that shit. That's why they put their kids on that side. You know what I'm saying? Shit. And most of them, they'll just say, fuck it then. Fuck it. I don't need the county money. Shit, I'm getting seven, eight, nine hundred dollars per kid. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting like thirty-five hundred, forty-five hundred a month just alone. Until that SSI gets smart and crack down on that shit. But this is taxpayers' money, man. That's being wasted for nothing. When there's real people that have 
medical issues that can really use their money, that can really benefit them. You know what I'm saying? The sick people out there getting turned down because you got motherfuckers playing the role, fucking up the system for everybody else. And then most like I'm speaking I'm speaking on behalf of my people. You know what I'm saying? And I don't downgrade my people. I see what goes on in my community with my people. And this is some shit that 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 we gotta stop to uplift ourselves and upgrade ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Black people act like they too motherfucking proud to 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 do shit. Or stand on the corner and sell oranges and flowers and all that shit. Man, I give a motherfucking Mexican all the props in the motherfucking world for that shit, homie. Shit. I see a motherfucker standing out there in the rain selling flowers, nigga. I stop and get some just just because I'm proud of you for out there working and, 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 and doing an honest living and doing what you do for yours. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I see him up there... All day at Home Depot, lined up, waiting for work, waiting to move something, or waiting to take something out, or waiting to, waiting to do some something productive. While y'all sitting at home, kicking it, watching Maury, watching Love and Crap Hop, and fucking Empire, and all that other shit that degrade us and make us look terrible. You know what I'm saying? Why you think they brought up them allegations on Bill Cosby, nigga? Because his show was positive. They took that shit off the air. That's why they wanted to fucking discredit him. Them motherfucking women wanted to give that man some pussy. Straight up. But all we watching is this black degrading garbage. <laughs> but anyway, I'm out this bitch. Peace. I'm gone.